I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas. I went to uh, Lake Collins High School. We played uh, 5A football down in Texas, so that's the biggest in Texas. At the one point, we had the most NFLers from my high school in the league at the one time, so, you know, a lot of, a lot of history in my high school. Playing football at a high level is nothing new for the Newhouse family. Marshall's cousin, Robert Newhouse, played 12 years for the Dallas Cowboys. Plus, Marshall's dad and a couple other cousins played D1 college football. But Newhouse never assumed that he would get there or get here. I knew the odds. My parents were good about telling me the odds of guys either even getting scholarships to college and then the odds of college to pros and of making the team. So it's just, I knew my odds were slim, but I was trying to work hard and enjoy it while I had it. Newhouse says whether your job is protecting the blind side of the NFL's most valuable player or something else that's not so high profile, that being a pro is about earning trust. Being a person that other people can count on regardless of what, what you do professionally, you know, even when it's, if it's for your wife and your kids or if it's for your friends and, um, and here it's for your teammates and, your, and the coaches. So just someone that uh, people don't really question as far as are they going to work hard, are they going to do the right thing. Playing here at Lambeau Field is certainly a thrill for any athlete, and it would seem to be part of a very glamorous lifestyle. But Marshall Newhouse says that's not always the case. He says fans' perceptions of a player's lifestyle can be a little off base. That's because the fans don't see the not-so-thrilling day-to-day routine the Packers have on their schedules on non-game days. It's not their fault. They can't see what goes on on a day-to-day basis. They don't see inside the building, inside the meetings, and all that stuff. So they're, you know, they're definitely on the outside looking in. And, but uh, we love them anyway just because they, they, they're so passionate and they, they love the Green Bay Packers and they love football. So, But uh, yeah, it's a little, it's different definitely than what they perceive. Newhouse got a different perception of reality in the spring of 2011 when he took a trip to Haiti. There he learned that happiness doesn't have to be tied to one's financial or social status. I came back with just such a, a different sense of um, my priorities because those people over there don't have much and they're some of the happy people you ever see and they cherish everything they have and it's just I definitely learned more from them than I ever thought would happen and it was just um, it was an eye-opening experience definitely.